Hello everyone, this is KT133 and I'm back, this time with a tutorial on how I make pins and keychain charms. First, you'll need to get a special kind of paper called shrink film. I'm using one called Graphics. Make sure that you buy a shrink film that is printer friendly. The artwork I made myself all themed around the series Good Omens, and today I'm going to show you how to make pins and charms using this artwork, so if you want to make these yourself, please download a copy of my artwork to print by following the instructions in this video's description box. Using the shrink film, I printed out a page with all the pins. Then I flipped the paper over to print the artwork on the other side of the page, because the keychain charms are double-sided. You don't have to print double-sided if you're just printing the pins, however. Also, be sure to check if the shrink film is compatible with your printer. My graphics shrink film can't be used with a laser printer, for example. Now I cut out the images, making sure not to smudge the ink and avoid leaving white edges around the colored designs. Be sure to cut out smooth edges so things aren't too sharp and pointy. Double-sided printing will always be somewhat misaligned, so take extra care when cutting the charms. You'll want to continually check both sides as you cut. With the charms, I use a hole punch to make a hole in the round bit for the keychain to hook around. And now it's time to bake them. Following the shrink film's instructions, I preheated the oven to 300 degrees and put a batch of pins evenly spaced on a baking tray. I placed two sheets of parchment paper underneath the pins on the baking tray, as well as six sheets of parchment paper on top of the pins. This is because shrink film will rapidly shrink within seconds and will curl into itself if it isn't weighted down. During my first try, I only placed two sheets of parchment paper on top and I messed up one of my charms. I baked the pins and charms for three minutes. When you take them out, use a spatula to help flatten them out while they're still hot. They came out quite nicely, didn't they? The artwork shrinks down to about a quarter of its size and the colors become darker and more saturated. Next, I had the pins and charms sprayed with a fixative, letting it dry and spraying on several coats. I used two coats. This is to prevent the ink from bleeding during the next step. I like to coat my pins with Mod Podge Dimensional Magic to make the pins look shiny. After 24 hours, they dry. Mod Podge Dimensional Magic does what the name suggests. It really rounds out the pins very nicely. Now you can add the keychains to the charms. and super glue the clutch pins to the back of the pins. The final step is to print out the card backing. I've had mine printed out at a printing place, and then I cut them out myself. Take a pin and carefully poke a hole through the card, making sure not to bend it. I used my socks here, but... Then I realized that placing the card on top of two boxes works better. And there you have it, do-it-yourself Good Omens pins and charms by KT133. I'm very happy with them, I'm going to enjoy wearing these pins and hanging the charms on my bags. If you want to see more of my art and the other projects I do, you can follow me on my social media, links in the description. You can also support my work through my Patreon, or you can buy me a tea at Ko-fi, links also in the description. If my tutorial helped at all, please let me know. Thank you again for watching. Ta-ra! In case you're wondering how I managed to film this tutorial with both my hands, using a borrowed mobile phone, this was my setup. I used two boxes and an upturned dish rack. As you can see, it's a very sophisticated setup. 